Hello everyone, welcome back to my course on enhancing soft skills and personality. I am Ravi Chandran giving you this course through NPTEL MOOC platform from uh, the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, IIT Kanpur. We are on lesson number 25, 25 is a good number. So, uh, like we have almost covered about 25 lessons, the major portion of uh, this course and this is the last unit, unit number 5 of 5th week. And this will be the concluding lesson on English skills, this is the fifth one and for common errors this is also the fifth one. Now, in the concluding one, I am just going to leave uh, you with some examples to sort out, but before I uh, go to that stage, uh, like what I did in the last one, I will go to the highlights as well as discuss the answers. Let us check your score and then uh, look at some new examples. In the last lesson, you checked your score for 20 commonly confused words and learnt about the correct usage of the following words. Passed out, uh, vis a vis graduated, catch is Indian usage, understand is the right one, go ahead, get ahead, on the top of, at the top of is the correct form, call you again, call you back is the correct form, in front of, opposite is appropriate above, you can use either over or on top of. Uh, the usage of that and which was also discussed. Lacks in wrong usage, lacks is the correct one. Whether you have to use is or in terms of belongings was also discussed. And with regard to the use of article, blue pen, a blue pen, a blue pen is the correct form. And similarly, whether it is a or an honest, it is an honest because her is silent here. Choice of will or can in terms of uh, dropping somebody, giving some help, offering to help somebody. So, can and should or uh, normally the uh, forms which are preferred compared to will. And the wrong usage of despite of, so which should be corrected as despite or in spite of. To test your English further, I gave you 20 more commonly misused words, expressions in everyday usage. Now, we will learn about the correct usage of them in this lesson. Uh, Let us uh, look at the wrong ones and then the right one with, with the explanation. The wrong form that was given in the last one, the first one was this, the audience has decided the fate of the film. Here, audience is used as many people. So, it should be in plural form, have decided the fate of the film is the correct form, correct answer. Explanation, collective nouns such as association, audience, committee, family, government, staff, department, team, etcetera can be treated as both singular and plural depending on the context. Look at uh, for example, the word staff. If I say the staff are on vacation, I refer to all the staff of my uh, department, my company, maybe 30 people, 300 people, it refers to all of them or on vacation. So, the plural form is indicating I am referring to all in general. But if I refer to one of the staff, I would say she is a new staff. Okay, indicating that she is one of the staff. Again you say I am not using staffs, one of the staffs. Staffs is again wrong usage, staff is always used for both uh, singular as well as plural form. Let us look at the second example which looks very interesting. The wrong usage is saying bread and butter are tasty because bread and butter just like fish and chips and similar phrases are considered fixed expressions in the sense like we use both of them together and as a kind of single subject. If I say bread and butter is my breakfast, idli and sambar is what I like so much. So, now uh, although it is separated by and and the logical way of looking at it when it is uh, connected by and, we generally think that one and one is two, so plural, but here 
one and one is treated single because they give the single sense of one subject that is uh, generally eaten up for breakfast. So, when you treat that as a singular entity, in the correct form is bread and butter is tasty. So, if two subjects refer to the same person or thing and are joined by an conjunction and, then the verb used is singular. Other phrases such as 100 meters, 50 kilograms etcetera are also treated as one entity even though they end in plurals okay, like uh, meters and kilograms. Look at the next example, the milk or sour wrong usage correct form is the milk is sour reason uncountable nouns such as water, coffee, cheese, sand, information, advice take a singular verb because we cannot divide them into separate elements and count them. Unless you refer to quantities of them like gallons of water, cheese bars. So, you can say 10 cheese bars or 10 pieces of cheese, 10 cups of coffee not coffees. So, since we cannot uh, divide them into separate elements and count them. So, you cannot use plural form of the verb. Here milk itself cannot be counted, though we can count milk in terms of bottles of milk, liters of milk, only in that sense then the verb will be plural in form. But when you use milk in general, it takes singular verb. So, milk is sour. Similarly, the next one, this sack of rice or spoiled is wrong for the same reason as above. This sack of rice is spoiled. Again, uncountable nouns as it has been said before, take a singular verb and rice is uncountable. Rice like wheat is uncountable. So, it is wrong to say I eat a rice for lunch, but it is right if you say I eat rice for lunch and if you want to indicate quantity, so then you can say 5 kilograms of rice, 6 grains of wheat, 4 bowls of rice. So, now you are indicating the quantity of the food item. So, then the verb will be plural otherwise when you refer to that as uncountable noun in a general sense it takes a singular verb. Look at the next example it is with regard to either or as well as neither nor also takes similar uh, usage in terms of uh, using subject in agreement with the verb. The wrong usage is given first either her mother or my sisters is singing tonight. Now, it looks like either her mother is the subject. So, is should agree with that, but the correct answer is either her mother or my sisters are singing tonight, because with either or or neither nor, the verb takes the singular or plural form depending upon the subject closest to the verb, which means when there are two different subjects in singular or plural form like in this case her mother is singular, my sisters are in plural form. Then the verb takes the one that is closest, here the closest one is sisters, so is is wrong, so it takes are. Look at the next one, he went along with their uncle to buy a new car, again mostly Indianism where is your father, they have come. So, using plural noun for a singular subject, here the correct form is he went along with his uncle to buy a new car and when along with is used, the verb is singular or plural based on whether the subject is singular or plural respectively. Now, here if you look at the pronoun choice further, his should always be determined by the preceding noun he, which means 
whatever pronoun that you are planning to use should go with the noun that has preceded. If you change the pronoun wrongly, you will be committing the error of uh, noun pronoun disagreement. So, the pronoun is not agreeing with noun. So, he, his, she, her, they, them or they, their okay, depending on uh, uh, the context. Let us go to the seventh one, seven, she as well as a friend, so kept in parenthesis, want to visit the floor exhibition. This is wrong usage, correct form, she as well as a friend wants to visit the floor exhibition. Explanation, phrases like together with and as well as do not change the number of the subject. Uh, when you have together with as well as, they are like parenthetical expressions, they are functioning as if they are within brackets and additional information uh, has been provided here. So, the main subject she will agree with the verb wants not want. So, if the subject is singular, here it is she singular, the verb takes its corresponding form, singular form that is wants and vice versa. That is, if the subject is plural, suppose it is they, so as well as her friend, their friend, then the uh, subject will be uh, plural and it can be want here. When the subject is singular, so then it should be singular verb. Eighth one, this is with regard to uh, using again uncountable nouns such as information. Wrong sentence is what is shown at the top, eighth one. They have received no informations, wrong to use informations, right form, they have received no information. The word information is uncountable, hence there is no plural form of it. However, if you want to indicate one particular piece of it, so then you may say as in the given example here, she gave an interesting piece of information, an interesting piece of information. So, piece of information, two pieces of information. Okay. So, there you can indicate how many of the information that you got, okay, when you use piece of. 9, again similar uh, to the previous discussions, but then here it is a uh, special word politics, wrong usage thinking that politics is in plural form and then if you use or, politics or not meant for him is wrong, politics is treated as a singular subject is not meant for him is the correct form, because nouns such as politics, ethics, news, arms, physics, mathematics, dynamics or plural in form. When you look at it, it has yes. So, it is indicating that it looks plural in form, but are used as singular. Hence, they take singular verbs. Let us go to the next one, tenth one. The wrong form is the new machineries are yet to be installed. Correct form, the new machinery is yet to be installed. The word machinery does not have a plural form. So, when you look at previous one like politics, physics, they are always plural in form, but take a singular one. Here, machinery is not in plural form, just like furniture, it is uncountable and takes a singular verb. Leaven is a very typical interesting Indian English example. He is my cousin brother, cousin brother, cousin sister. So, here we want to show the gender thinking that cousin does not have this. Okay. The correct form is he is my cousin because he the pronoun itself is indicating the gender. As I said use of cousin brother, cousin sister is another Indianism. Cousin is a genderless word here he indicates the gender hence use of brother is not required. Similarly, you may say she is my cousin not cousin sister, 
which is again a wrong usage. In the western context, however, the difference in sex is indicated by adding a name. So, they would rather introduce as my cousin Josephine, my cousin John. So, you understand that this is a female cousin and this is a male cousin. In fact, some people try to show the discrimination by using this expression female cousin or male cousin. Next example is equally interesting. She has a 2000 rupees note. The correct form is she has a 2000 rupee note. You may think that why not rupees when it is 2000, a big number, it is not 1. The explanation is this, when a noun such as rupees comes in the adjectival position. So, now if you look at the noun, it is trying to function like an adjective in a compound word. The compound word is indicated by the hyphen which are connecting three words here, 2000 rupees. Then it should be used in a singular form because it is functioning like an adjective in its compound form and trying to describe the note. We have plenty of other examples like a 3 hour drama, which means a drama that lasted for 3 hours. A 10 year project, again it implies a project that will last for 10 years. So, when you expand it, it will take the plural form 10 years, but when you use 10 year in the adjectival position to describe the noun, so then it will be in singular form. Similarly, the most interesting example, those who played cricket or watch cricket or fond of cricket, remember this a three day match, but actually it means a match lasting for three days or a match of three days. Okay. So, if you remember this, you will be able to uh, speak correctly in terms of nouns which are used as in compound form and function as adjectives. Next one, the wrong way to say is he leaves his quarter at 8 am. The correct way to say the same thing is he leaves his quarters at 8 am. What is the difference between these two? Quarter is one fourth or 25 percent of something, whereas quarters refers to housing accommodations the buildings where people reside. So, when I say quarters, I refer to my house, but when I say quarter, I refer to one fourth quantity of something. So, understand this difference, do not confuse between these two. And the next two were with regard to another interesting usage of one off. Wrong uh, expression, Kanpur is one of the highly polluted city in the world. Correct form, Kanpur is one of the highly polluted cities in the world. What is the logic here? The noun following the phrase one of, one of the always is a plural noun. So, you always refer to one of many things, but the common error committed by uh, especially Asians, South Asians is that one of and then they use a singular uh, noun thinking that one of is uh, singular, but one of is indicating one example of many cities in this case. So, hence the correct form is cities and look at the next one which is similar 15 one of my students have sung well in this competition, one of my students have sung well in this competition. Why it is wrong? Because one of agrees with the singular verb has. So, the correct form is one of my students has sung well in this competition. The subject one of is singular, hence it will take a singular verb. In case you use some of many of, so then the plural form have will be used. So, if you say some of my students, then it is some of my students have sung well in the competition. 16. Again with uh, regard to using back and backside, I have planted roses at the backside of my house is wrong. 
and the correct form is I have planted roses at the back of my house. What is the reason? Back side especially in western context refers to the rear or back part of a person. So, what we call as buttocks, but back means the part of opposite to or farthest from the front. So, when you are writing on a piece of paper and you are asked to write on the back, okay, it exactly means front side, back side, page number 1, 2, 2 is the back side when you are writing on page 1. But if you want to use other words, back side is wrong, you can say reverse of the paper or the other side of the paper. When you use back side, it indicates something else okay, and it is redundant to use side there. 17. Although he is 80 years old, he does not wear spectacle. Now, spectacle is wrong usage here when what is meant is spectacles, otherwise spectacle simply means a show. Here, although he is 80 years old, he does not wear spectacles is the correct form. Spectacles like shoes and socks are always used in the plural. 18, similar to the use of uh, spectacle, here the word scissor is used wrongly. You will need scissor for cutting this material, wrong usage, correct form. You will need scissors for cutting this material. Scissors like shears and fetters are always used in the plural. 19. I will need new trouser to go to college. Trouser similar to previous expressions is wrong here. I will need new trousers to go to college. So, trousers like stockings, pants and pyjamas are always used in the plural form. So, a pair of trousers, a pair of scissors. The last one Again, a very interesting example. Hair, hairs are black and beautiful. Hairs, wrong usage. So, the verb also is used wrongly here. Correct usage. Hair, hair is black and beautiful. Now, what about this word hair? Hair is normally uncountable. So, it is not used in the plural. When it is viewed as a mass as in the above example, then it takes a singular verb. Occasionally, has is used to indicate the number when it is considered plural as in the sentence, I found two long hats in my soup. Okay. But generally you remember, hair usually used to indicate the mass. So, you go for hair cut, not for hats cut. Okay. So, then it is taking a uh, singular form of the verb. Now, check your answers very quickly, give the score and let us check your score, see where you stand. So, if you are 20 out of 20, so you are outstanding, if you have got 18 or 19, your score is excellent. If it is between 15 and 17, it is very good, between 12 and 14 is good, 10 to 11 is fair. 8 to 9 is average, 6 to 8 is below average, 4 to 7 is poor and 0 to 3 is very poor. Again as I said, so you should not be disheartened if you are in the range of uh, below average and you should not get carried away if you are at the range of excellent outstanding because in both cases there is room for improvement. Now, I am going to conclude this entire uh, module on English skills with specific focus on common errors with the thought that I started with that at least it is important that you identify the common errors and try to correct them if you are not able to speak like a native speaker. Functionally, even if you are able to correct the common errors, you will be uh, improving your soft skills to a great extent. So, I am going to leave you with some more examples for improving your English usage, but this time I am not going to spend time on explanation. 
I am going to give two internet sites at the end and then there are two reference books which I have been discussing in the previous videos also. I want you to find out the explanations yourself, so that you remember why you should be used in this way. And even if you go to the sites which I have, uh, which I have referred to, they give uh, appropriate explanations. So, on the left side in the table that I am presenting before you, I have kept all incorrect sentences, on the right side you have correct forms. So, I will read the incorrect one first and then go to the correct one. She is taller than me, she is taller than I, it is the correct form. I and she are enemies, wrong form, correct form. She and I are enemies, wrong form. She enjoyed during vacation, correct form. She enjoyed herself during vacation, wrong usage. One should achieve his goals, correct form. One should achieve one's goals. Very commonly and wrongly used form, your apostrophe yes sincerely, correct form yours sincerely without that apostrophe. Wrong way of asking whom do you think is the culprit, correct way who do you think is the culprit. Wrong usage, she works hardly for her promotion, especially when you want to indicate somebody who is working very hard, the correct form is she works hard for her promotion. Hardly, I am giving a quick explanation, so that you do not get confused here. Hardly means hardly ever, not at all, rarely. So, when you say she works hardly for her promotion, it means she is not working at all. It is giving a negative connotation. If you really mean that she is working very hard, then you should say she works hard for her promotion. And the next one in terms of comparative, if you say and uh, superlative. If you say Sudha is worse than her husband is wrong, Sudha is worse than her husband, it is between superlative and comparative degree. Next one, your affectionate daughter, the correct form is your affectionate daughter, wrong usage, he prefers coffee than tea, correct usage, he prefers coffee to tea, wrong usage with regard to article, Himalayas looks splendid correct form, the Himalayas looks splendid. Let us look at some more examples, incorrect form, the gold is a noble metal, correct form, gold is a noble metal. Ganges is a holy river, the Ganges is a holy river. He left drinking long ago, wrong form, correct form, he gave up drinking long ago. Wrong way to present this idea. The teacher asked to Ramu why he is late, correct way to present the idea. The teacher asked Ramu why he was late, again wrong way to represent pain or ache with related to body parts. My stomach is paining, I have pain in my stomach. My head is aching, I have a headache wrong usage of uh, invented in the given example, Columbus invented America, correct usage, Columbus discovered America. You discover something that is already there, you invent something that is new. You need to give a test in English, correct way to say this is, you need to take a test in English. Please open the tap, it is not opening. Please turn on the tap, 2 lakhs or a big amount, 2 lakhs is a big amount. Some more examples, this mango is too sour, correct form, this mango is very sour. I searched the pen everywhere, I searched for the pen everywhere. She congratulated him for his achievement, it is wrong. She congratulated him on his achievement. I am answerable for the boss, wrong usage. I am answerable to the boss, correct usage. The man is a social animal, wrong usage. Man is a social animal, correct usage. 
you will need a umbrella wrong form with regard to using articles with regard to uh, nouns correct form you will need an umbrella next one use of again article with regard to books or great epics which are known to us bible gita and quran spread universal love and brotherhood correct form the bible the gita and the quran spread universal love and brotherhood she is going to an university she is going to a universe many lives the spelling should be noted here l i f people think the plural form is l i f e s so many lives were lost in the train accident the correct plural form is l i v e s so many lives were lost in the train accident now these are as i said some teasers so just to cause an awareness in you about the commonly committed mistakes with regard to the use of english language however this is just a very humble beginning in terms of your long journey towards developing your english skills and developing enhancing your soft skills and personality so this is like a slice of the cake that i have presented before you you need to practice you need to improve by observation by more than observation going and checking to sites on the net checking referring to the dictionary frequently and then before i give you two interesting sites i just want you to take some important uh, messages from two interesting quotes from again two significant personalities the first one is from mark twain who says i know grammar by ear only not by note not by rules so he is a very famous novelist and then he says that my knowledge of the grammar is by ear only what he says that i have been a very keen observer and then i listen to people and then i internalized the functions of grammar the rules not by reading it from books not by noting it on notebooks not by mugging up rules but only by listening to people who are speaking good english and that is how i developed my grammar so what is the message he is trying to give you although on the one hand i am saying that it's important to know the rules to play with the rules and break them on the other hand you need not learn the rules by going to some grammar book and mugging up and uh, memorizing them but as mark twain points out even if you watch good examples like news channels okay standard news channels and then eminent speakers so if you observe and then just let that get into you through your ears okay so then also you can internalize and keep uh, them with you look at the next one from richard branson he says you don't learn to walk by following rules again it is similar to what mark twain says he says that if you follow rules if they uh, give you in a rule book by saying that you have to get up like this you have to hold like this you have to walk like this so you will not learn how to walk if you remember how you started walking from crawling stage so you never followed any rules and that's what he says you don't learn to walk by following rules you learn by doing and falling over you do it you experience it and then you fail numerous times falling over you fall over again and again and then get up and then walk and then get up and walk and then you learn how to walk properly so developing any language skills and in particular with regard to english language learning skills rules are important but you should not feel 
bogged down by the thinking that you should learn from some books, you do not know anything, but eminent writers and uh, great thinkers like the quotes which I have given you, they are telling you that just learn through experience okay. and do not be afraid of making mistakes. You correct yourself only when you realize that you have made some mistakes. So, with that message, I would like you to go to two interesting sites which are available for developing your English skills freely and they are very useful. The first one is dailywritingtips.com. So, they generally deal with confused words, confused expressions and how to improve your writing skills in general. In fact, if you subscribe and give your email ID, every day they will give you one interesting uh, confusing words or one interesting discussion on writing or generally about developing your uh, English skills. The second one is similar to this, but you go to the site and then practice uh, your English. So, the name of the site itself is EnglishPractice.com. So, the link that I have given under topics common mistakes, if you go more than what I have discussed here or listed there and then every time you uh, feel bored or you are more interested in developing uh, English skills either way, just go to the site and then make it a habit, learn at least 4 5 common mistakes okay, and try not to commit them in your day to day life. Of course, the other two books which I mentioned, so you can collect them. Uh, I hope some of you have at least purchased the last mentioned one by uh, Soumya Sharma that is common errors in English which is uh, available for a very low price 180 rupees only and uh, uh, it has more examples again than what I discussed here. So, we are concluding this uh, module this week which we spent so much time on uh, English skills and common errors. So, I thank you for uh, being with me for this uh, complete one week journey in terms of uh, making you help correct your common errors. As I said this is just a step and uh, the journey is quite long, but it is rewarding at the end of the journey. Wish you all luck and uh, wish you uh, all the best in your uh, journey. Thank you so much for watching this video.